Hi, soon to be seventh graders. I'm Miss Hess, one of the counselors at Dake. I've been a counselor here in Round Equate for five years. Next year will be my sixth. I've worked at Dake for two years, and before that, I worked at Iroquois and Rogers, where you guys are all coming from. I'm really looking forward to getting to know all of you next year, and some fun facts about me are that I love adventure, hiking, kayaking, really anything that gets me outside and active. Um, I also love bringing my dog Juno along with me. As a counselor at Dake, a couple things we help with um, are your schedule, talking about your preferences and your plans for your future, and we also help with problem solving. So if you're having a problem with any of your friends, with your family, or something at school, we're all here to help. Hey everybody, it's Ms. Williams, and I'm one of the other counselors here at Dake, and it is so nice to be with you, even though it is virtually. We cannot wait to welcome you in the fall, and are really looking forward to that. A few things about me is when I'm not at Dake, I love to be outside with my family, with my friends, hanging out, and I love to be active. I really enjoy running, and I've been doing a lot of that lately, which has been wonderful. But when I am at Dake, a couple of the other things that I do with my amazing coworkers over here is we teach lessons. And so we push into some of the classes that you will take and we give lessons on learning styles, careers, personality, so that you can use that information and know more about yourself as a learner and as a person. We also work really closely with your teachers. We collaborate with them and make sure that they're providing you the kind of support that you need, either academically or socially, emotionally. Just a couple of the things that we do. Can't wait to see you. Hi everyone, it's Ms. Graham, one of the counselors at Dake Junior High School. I am so excited to get to know you as you enter our doors this fall. For many of you, I remember you from our time at Brookview in Seneca many years ago. I used to work at those schools for about 15 years before I decided to go for a change and enter the building called Dake, which I absolutely love and I hope that you will find the same. A few things about me, I have two children at home. One is Abigail. She's finishing up her freshman year at a university in Chicago, and Benjamin is finishing up his junior year in high school. A few things that I love to do are run and read, and I absolutely love animals. You're going to find that out when you meet Simon, who is our therapy dog at Dake, and then he's our family pet when he's at home. I am also very passionate about the Buffalo Bills, and my son tells me they're going to have a fantastic season this fall. I believe they're supposed to be like 12 and 4 if all goes well. So again, I can't wait to get to know each and every one of you. You're going to love it at Dake, and our job is to make you feel welcome, to help you learn, and to be an overall successful student. Can't wait for the fall. Hi everyone, I'm back and I want you to meet Simon, who is Dake's therapy dog. Simon is home with me right now, but when he's working, he is Dake's therapy dog. His main job is to provide unconditional love and acceptance to all students at Dake. He will be welcoming you as new 7th graders in the fall. He will often be seeing greeting students as they enter the building. He spends time with students in the all-purpose room after lunch and also spends time with students in the Counseling Center. He looks forward to meeting all of you in the fall. Simon, can you say goodbye? Bye. See you soon. So you're all probably wondering what you need to know so that you can do well at day next year. Some things that are really important are making sure that you're respectful, responsible, and that you try your best every day. Being at school every day is also very important. You'll have a lot of different classes, some that don't even happen every day, so it's really important that you get to school as much as you possibly can so that you're not missing out on important things. Staying organized is also really important. Using your planner and your locker um, at Dake because you're going to be switching classes more often, and so you'll have um, more classes in your schedule to keep track of. So making sure that you're organized is going to be really helpful for you. Hopefully, as a sixth grader, you've had lots of time to practice those things and that you're getting used to doing them so that you can be successful next year. Completing your homework and classwork, staying focused when you're in class, trying your best, and also working hard outside of school at home are important things, too. Making sure that you study for tests and quizzes. This might be something that's a little bit different for you guys. Um, you might need to study a little bit more for your classes at Dake and your teachers 
um, are going to do a lot to really help to make sure that you are ready for that, that you're learning um, the best way to study and how to best prepare for tests and quizzes. One of the most important things listed here is really making sure that you ask for help. So here at Dake, we have a lot of teachers and adults around the building that are willing to help you with whatever you might need. But we won't always know if you need help unless you ask. So make sure that you take time to seek somebody out and ask for help. If your teachers are really flexible with meeting with you before or after school or maybe during a lunch or a study hall. There's lots of different ways for us to help. You just have to let us know. So those are some of the most important things that are going to help you to be successful at Dake. Everyone, it's Ms. Williams again, here to talk to you a little bit about expectations for success at Dake. We want to set you up for success at Dake to make sure that you know exactly what it is that you need in order to be successful. The first thing is respect and responsibility, not just for yourself, but for others, our whole school as a whole, and the learning environment. And when we say the learning environment, we mean the classroom. We also mean the hallways, the cafeterias. When you step into Dake, that is our shared community and we expect that everybody is treating it as such. We also want you to be set up for success by wearing clothes that are representative of you. We know the clothes are unique and it's your personal sense of style. We want you to have fun with that. But we also want to make sure that you're being respectful about what you're putting out there. So we do not want you to wear clothes that advertise any drugs or alcohol or inappropriate or offensive to other people. Also, coats, big puffy winter coats. Luckily, we don't have to think about those right now, but those should not be worn in the hallways or brought into classrooms. Hi everyone, it's Miss Graham again. I'm here to tell you about some exciting privileges you're going to have when you enter Dake. First of all, with teacher permission, you now get to wear hats and caps in the classroom. How exciting is that? Can you tell who my favorite football team is? The other thing is, again, with teacher permission, is you have the privilege to chew gum in school in the classroom as long as you do it in a respectful way. A couple of things that may be different uh, regarding backpacks, when you bring your backpack into school, we are asking that you put your backpack in the locker for the day. You can walk around with a drawstring bag and put a few things in your bag to take from class to class when you don't have time to go back to your locker. But other than that, we're asking that you keep your backpacks in your locker. And also your cell phone, you know, these things that you might be familiar with. We're asking that you keep those in your locker so that you can concentrate on your learning throughout the day. You can bring them into school, have them before school begins, and then take them out at the end of the day. So again, looking forward to the hats and the gum. Hey everyone, it's Miss Williams again. I am actually really excited to talk to you about this slide, the community values. So what you see on your screen are four different community values and you also see the definition of what these community values mean. These definitions were put in place not just by adults, but they were put in place by having input from students too. What these values mean is they're the expectations for all people at Dake. Students, staff, administrators, counselors, parents, no matter who you are, when you are at Dake, these are the values that we expect everybody embodies, but these are also the values that you should expect in return. They're what we hold each other accountable so that we are one day community. So what that truly means, though, is that we have shared purpose. We are all here to learn. We have mutual respect. We care about each other as human beings when we're at Dake. We have mutual support. We help each other in the simplest sense. And we have shared pride. We celebrate our Dake community. So again, you will see these posted around Dake, but you also hear your teachers and other adults at Dake reminding you about what it means to live these values out. We expect that everybody responds to these and upholds them and carries them out. So we look forward to seeing you at Dake, and we also look forward to seeing where you go with these values because we know that you have them within you. So the school hours at Dake are a little bit different than what you might be used to. Our school opens at 7 a.m., and the first bell to go to homeroom rings at 7.45 and homeroom starts at 7.53. So you need to be in your seat in your homeroom at that time at 7.53. If you arrive to school before the first bell, you must either be in the cafeteria for breakfast or in the APR, which is our all-purpose room that you'll get to see in a little bit. 
There are nine periods in each day, so you can have up to nine different classes in your schedule each day. Um, and we follow an every other day schedule. So A, C, and E is one day, and B, D, S is another day. For your classes, you'll have four minutes in between classes, which is really plenty of time to get to where you need to be. You just need to be focused on getting to your next class. All of our regular school rules and community values apply when you are in school, when you're walking in the hallway, and when you're on your way to school or from school each day. So make sure that you respect each other and follow our rules wherever you are. Um, and our school day also ends at 2.57, which is also maybe a little bit different than what you guys might be used to do. Hey, everybody. I want to tell you a little bit about the teams that we have here at Dake, because you may have heard a bit about them already. There are three seventh grade teams that we'll have next year. Those are Sapphire, Ruby, and Amethyst. Each of you will be placed on one of those teams. What being on a team means is that everybody on that team will have the same counselor. You will also likely have the same teacher for your core classes, which are math, English, social studies, and science. There will be some cases where you don't have the same teacher that's on that team, but that's okay. It's just about how our schedule is working out. The classes that are non-core, so your other classes like PE, technology, lunch, music, those classes are considered non-team, and you can have them with any 7th grader. The courses you'll be taking at Dake are very similar to those that you took at Iroquois and Rogers. For example, you'll be taking Math, English, Social Studies, and Science every single day. In addition, you have Physical Education every other day. The thing that might be a little bit different is that English and Math meet for an extended period every other day. There are many other exciting courses that you'll be in next year in seventh grade. These may include a world language, whether that be French, Spanish, Italian, or German, a music ensemble, art, family and consumer science, health, and technology. You may also be placed in a support such as math lab, ELA lab, reading lab, or support study. So this is a picture of what a schedule might look like for you next year at Dake. We essentially have two different letter days at Dake. There's A days and B days. I know that you guys are used to using A, B, C, D, E, and S days. We just make it a little bit easier at Dake by saying that you only have two different days to think about with your schedule. So all of those letter days that you're used to don't go away. But A, C, and E days become A days in terms of what classes you will take. And then B, D, and S days become B days for your classes. So just like we talked about earlier, you'll see that there's nine periods in the school day in order to fit in all of your classes. Some things I want to point out are how some classes are every other day, like Spanish and art. And I also want to point out how math and English are extended classes every other day. So if you notice on A days, this person has one period of math and one period of English with art in between. And then on B days, this person has extended where they're in math for one and a half periods and then they go to English for one and a half periods. And the reason that we do this is because English and math are really important classes that help you to learn a lot of the skills that you need in many other subjects. So you get your actual schedules in August, and then you'll get them again on the first day of school. And we go over this important information again during orientation and in homeroom on the first day. So you'll make sure to know um, where your classes are and what your schedule means so you'll know how to read it. Hey, everybody. We can talk about computers now. Similarly to this year, you will be assigned a one-to-one -one device early in the school year. Beginning on July 1st, you will need to sign the user agreement, which can be found online. Your parent or guardian can help you with this, too. The exciting new thing, though, for this year is that now that you are going to be a mature daker, you will be able to take your device home, but with parent permission. The other things you need to keep in mind about the device is the expectations in terms of taking care of it stay the same. You are to bring it to school each day, charge it each night, 
Report any problems or damage or other issues to teachers or the library staff immediately, and we'll show you how to get there, don't worry. The other thing is to follow the laptop user agreement and the student code of conduct while you're using your device. We take that very seriously at Dake, but we know that you'll be able to do it. We have a ton of extracurricular activities and experiences that we offer at Dake. On the left-hand side of the screen, you're going to see a list of what some of these activities are. Please know that we'll make sure that we announce these opportunities again in the fall, and we'll also give you directions on how to specifically become involved in them if you're interested. This is just a preliminary list so you can see all of the awesome things that we have to offer. We also have a ton of sports at Dake. I do want you guys to pay attention to the ones that are listed in the fall category, because if you're interested in participating in those, you're going to want to make sure that you're paying attention over the summer to any announcements that come out about how to register or how to make sure that you are physically cleared and eligible to participate. The way you pay attention to those is by keeping an eye on the athletic website, as well as any posts that are put on our Facebook, Dake Facebook page. Hey guys, so it's time for a little bit of real talk right now. We are so looking forward to welcoming you to Dake and we cannot wait to see you in the fall, but we know that things have been really different lately. But we want you to know that we got you. And if there are things that are going to change in the fall, if rules and expectations are going to change, or there's things that will be different, we will make sure that you and your families know. Our priority is making sure that you are comfortable, you are welcome, and you know that you are cared about. So in what, whatever way, we cannot wait to see you in the fall.